In this video we're going to look at installment loans and the monthly payment and we'll do these three examples and on example two and three we'll also look at how much total interest is paid over the course of the loan. Okay, So let's start with example uh, one and also with a um, what, an, what an installment loan is. Okay, with an installment loan, you borrow money for a fixed period of time. One year, two years, three years, four years, right? Or months or whatever. You make equal monthly payments to pay off the loan plus interest accumulated each month. Okay, so interest is accumulated each month on the loan, but at the same time you pay equal monthly payments. So your balance is decreasing on the loan, right? Your, princ your principal is decreasing. Um, and so the interest due each month is actually decreasing but you still make equal monthly payments so we'll see later how at the start of these equal monthly payments you're, you're, you're paying a lot of interest off and then as the principal of the loan decreases you pay mostly more principal uh, and, and not so much interest so we'll see how that works so it, it's actually a slightly complicated thing and we'll just look at example one to try and make it as simple as possible so you might actually see what's going on. Suppose we borrow $100 for two months at a rate of 5% per month. We pay back the loan with equal payments at the end of each month. How much do we pay each month, right? Now, first question. Is our monthly payment just $50? Yes or no? And why? Can you answer that? Would you just pay back $50 each month? And then you'd have $100 paid back and that would be the end of it, right? Well, the answer is no. Why? Why is the answer no? Because of the interest. There's interest accumulated on the loan. So you don't just pay back $100 altogether or 50 bucks each month. Um, you must uh, pay interest also. You must pay interest also on the loan, right? If you invested $100 at a rate of 5% per month for two months, what would you have? Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Just have a look at it. So you're going to invest $100, imagine, at a rate of 5% per month for, for two months, and what would you have then? What formula do we need here? Well, just simple compound interest formula, right? So 100 times uh, 1 plus 5 percent and that would be the amount after one month 105 dollars right 100 plus 5 dollars 5 percent so after two months you multiply by this again so that would be squared right that's that's 100 dollars invested for two months at uh, 5 percent per month now this is 5 percent per month this is not APR you know in fact um, the annual percentage rate for this uh, loan is 5% um, uh, uh, times 12. And what's 5 twelves? 60, right? So the APR is actually 60% for this loan, so it's a huge APR. So if you ever see a, a rate like that per month, that's a, a ripoff, obviously, right? Anyway, 100 times this uh, gives us what? So 1.05 to the power of 2 gives that number and then times that by 100 and we get 110.25, right? So if we invested $100 at this you would have $110.25 and now the question is if you divide this by 2 is this the monthly payment? Why or why not? So I'm going to take this number and I'm going to divide it by 2 and what will I get then? So take that number, divide by 2 and we get 55.125 five hmm. so, so, and that's of course approximately, you know, $55, uh, let's say 13 cent, okay? So is this the monthly payment? Why or why not? Press pause and think about that. Think why or why not? OK. 
Okay, I hope you've had a chance to think about this. Now press pause and think if this is the actual monthly payment. Like if you paid two of these. Well, the answer is in fact no. This is not the monthly payment. Why? Because um, if you put $100 into a bank account, it's kind of like if you lend out $100, or if you put $100 into a bank account, um, that stays there. The 100 does not decrease, okay? The, uh, and it's, it stays, the principal stays at 100 for two whole months. And so you get 5% on the whole $100 each month, plus on top of the, 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 the uh, other interest. So um, the thing about it is that um, if you're, if this is loaned out and there's monthly payments, you see after the first month uh, there's a payment made and so the amount actually decreases and so the interest uh, during the second month is going to be less uh, than, the first, than the first month because um, there's already been a payment made and so it's not a hundred dollars, not, it's not going to be a hundred dollars you know loaned out for the whole two months it'll be a hundred dollars for the first month and then there's a payment made and so the principal is reduced and so the interest is reduced and so this is not the total amount that needs to be paid back so I hope you're starting to see how it is a little bit complex so I'm just gonna really quickly try to explain what is going on here okay so what's going on is at the end of month one um, we owe some interest, right? Well, we, we, and um, you know what? We'll just say uh, we'll give a balance here of the loan uh, before the payment uh, for month one. So the end of month one, uh, right before you pay, there's interest added on, and the interest is. Uh, you know, 5% on top of the $100 that's loaned out. Because it's 5% per month. So if we take, um, you know, 100 and multiply that by 1 plus the 5%, or 1.05, right? That'll give us $105. So at the end of month one, the balance right before the payment has has gone gone up already to one hundred and five dollars, right? Because it's it's five percent interest per month, and then you go ahead and you make a payment. Now we actually don't know what this payment is, and it's not just this divided by two either, because the payments have to be equal. So I'm going to show you. We're going to try and calculate what the payment is by algebra. We'll call this x. We actually don't know what that is. Okay, and uh, I hope you'll see why. Um, and then we have a new balance um, after loan balance after the payment. Okay. Now this new balance is take to one hundred and five dollars that's owed at the end of the first month, right? And now subtract the payment we made, subtract X, and that's what's in the account now, right? So the end of month one, interest is added on, you make a payment, the payment is subtracted from that, okay? At the end of month two, um, we, have, we have this, we have to add interest on first. So what we do is, we take our, um, uh, we, we take our, our balance 105 minus X okay and we have to add interest onto that so we multiply it by say 1.05 okay and that'll add 5% interest onto that right and then we go ahead and make another payment and the next payment the payment we made make at the end of month two is the same amount as the payment in month one so it's X as well we'll call it X right and the balance at the end of month two is now uh, what was in there at the end of the month too, 1.05, so interest added on to this, what was in there at the end of month one, and then subtract the final payment. Now, I have a question for you. I'm not expecting you to completely uh, follow all this perfectly because uh, I, I, I have a little bit of difficulty understanding it myself, but the point is, what one thing I want you to tell me is this. What's the balance of the loan at the end 
of two months. What is the balance of the loan at the end of two months? In other words, what is this equal to? Should be. If you paid your loan diligently at the end of two months, the balance of the loan would be duck egg. Zero, right? The end of, so does that make sense? The end of the end of month two, the balance has to be zero. So what we have is this amount must equal zero. And we have a algebraic linear equation, which you probably have solved at some point. And so if we go ahead and solve that equation, 1.05 times this gives um, 110, 25. 1.05 times negative x is minus 1.05x, then minus x equals zero. So what we're going to do is solve this equation, and that'll tell us what the equal payment should be. And um, so that's 110.25 minus, now negative x is the same thing as 1x, so this and this makes negative 2.05x, and that's equal to zero, right? And now what we're going to do is get x's on one side, get numbers on the other, so add 2.05x to both sides, and we'll have 110.25 equals 2.05x, and now x has been multiplied by 2.05, so to undo that we divide by 2.05 on both sides, and um, we'll get a value for x. So plug that in your calculator, 110.25 um, divided by 2.05 equals and 53.7804, see that? So approximately $53.78 is the, is the payment. Okay, now isn't that a complicated little problem just for a hundred dollars and two payments? Isn't that, a, it's, to me it's, it's kind of amazing really. But, uh, and, and here's how it works. Uh, the, the end of month when you got a hundred and five dollars in there, you make a payment of X which is fifty three seventy eight, and now you have a hundred and five minus fifty three seventy eight in there at the end of month one and let's calculate that one o five minus fifty three point seven eight equals fifty one dollars twenty two so after your first payment there's fifty one dollars twenty two cent in the account now okay and then and 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 then you take your 1.05 and multiply it by 105 minus x by the way we just calculated that that's 5122 so 5122 goes here so you add 5% interest onto what's in there at the end of month 1 okay so you take that and you times it by 1.05 and that equals 5378 about okay So now, uh, the balance before your monthly two payment is indeed $53.78, okay? And then you make a payment of $53.78, and um, sure enough, this is in here, you make this payment, and then sure enough, zero. We have zero in the account at the end of two months, and everybody's happy, right? So. Anyway, that's just to show you um, how well, what, what a tricky business it is to calculate this equal monthly payment. Okay, and um, thank goodness we have a formula for it, right? So if we go to example two, um, we'll do the. Oh, sorry, sorry. So what I'm going to do is um, look at this formula, and we're going to. Um, use the formula fi to find the actual monthly payment for um, for this. So the monthly payment equals the amount borrowed, which is a hundred dollars, times 
times the interest rate R. Now R is monthly interest rate. Now in fact our monthly rate R was indeed 5%. It was 5% per month. Okay, And that makes 1 plus R equals what? 1.05. What was the term of the loan? How many months uh, were we paying on this loan? It was two months, wasn't it? So we have 100 times R, which is 0 0.05, times uh, 1 plus R to the power of T, so that's 1.05 to the power of 2, and it's all over 1.05 to the power of 2 minus 1. Okay? So we plug this in and um, then calculate that. So by all means, press pause and calculate it calculate the top and see what you get and maybe yeah so press pause calculate the top see what you get and again if you have a calculator that will do the top in one line just type in the whole line press enter that's a good way or if you have uh, not such a great calculator you could do it bit by bit but you must do PEMDAS so you've got to do exponents first then multiply right so this way 1.05 to the power of 2 equals that times it by 0 0.05 and we get this times that by 100 and we get 5.5125 and then do the bottom 1.05 to the power of 2 equals that and then subtract 1 subtract 1 and we get that so 0. Uh, 1025, right? So this divided by this, calculate that, 5, uh, 125 divided by 0 0.1025. So if you divide those, you might get 53.78. 0, 4, 8, etc., or approximately to the nearest cent, $53.78. Okay, so does that match with what we calculated by algebra over here? Right, and now I'm sure you agree if we're going to be paying off a loan every month for 10 years, you probably want to use the formula, right? Because the algebra is going to get very complicated and we might need uh, to use a geometric series or something to actually um, figure, out, figure out this formula. But in any case, that's the formula. You will be given it on a test. Um, you may have to know which formula is the right one to use for which question, but um, you will not need to memorize this formula. Okay. Now, um, let's go to example two at this point. And we'll look at a car payment. To buy a car, you borrow $15,000 with a term of three years and an APR of 9%. What is your monthly payment? So we use the formula monthly payment equals amount borrowed, 15000 times R times 1 plus R to the power of T over this thing. Now, what we need to do is get the monthly interest rate, very important, R. What is the monthly interest rate? Press pause and get R, the monthly interest rate. So once again, we have an annual percentage rate of 9%, but that corresponds to a monthly interest rate of 9% or 0 0.09 over 12, right? Which is 0 point, you got that, 0, 0, 0075, right? And so what's 1 plus R equal to? One plus R is one point zero zero seven five, isn't it? And now what is T? That's your thing we need. T the term of the loan. So 
what t is the is the number of um, months of the loan okay number of monthly payments or the number of months that you'll be paying the loan however you want to say it okay so how many months are we talking about well we've got three years so how many months is that three times twelve which is thirty six so t is thirty six so we have r one plus r and t now we can plug these into the formula and calculate it so fifteen thousand times r that's zero point zero zero seven five and then times one plus r to the power of t one point zero zero seven five to the power of thirty six divided by 1.0075 to the power of 36 subtract 1 and calculate the top and bottom and then uh, get your answer so um, I what will I do um, press pause and calculate the top and then you can check with me if you like so hope you so press pause and try it hope you tried it I'm just in case any needs I'm just gonna go through it on a on, on a basic calculator if, in case uh, you don't have a, a, a fancy one so um, we'll we've got to do PEMDAS on this so we got to do exponents first then multiply right so we got to do 1.0075 to the power of 36 first so we've got this number that's 1.30086 right etc then we take that and we multiply that by 0 0.0075 and we get this number 0 0.0098 etc then we take that and multiply it by 15,000 so times 15,000 equals that right 147.2226 right so we get 147.2226 uh, six zero four two, and just so you don't have to remember how many digits you need to keep after the decimal point, just put them all in, and that will save your memory, right? Um, but I guess you know if you use kind of four or five, here, it'd probably be enough to get the uh, to get the correct answer to the nearest cent. So the bottom is one point zero zero seven five to the power of thirty six, right? But don't forget, we need to also subtract one okay so then subtract one and the bottom is you should get zero point three zero eight uh, six four five three seven so if you divide those press pause and divide those those and see what you get so 147.2226042 divided by uh, 0 0.308 and uh, 6453 7 and about 476.995 right 9476.9959 etc and this is the answer so we're going to round the answer, the final answer, to the nearest cent. Round that to the nearest cent, what do you get? Press pause if you need time. Round that to the nearest cent. Now to the nearest cent, this it, we're talking about 9 here, okay? This 9, but after that there's a 5 and so we need to round up, don't we? If I round up, I'll add a cent to 99, and that becomes 10 cent, and that adds another one to here, and that becomes a dollar, and that adds one here to the 6, which becomes 7. So I get 477 is what I get. $477. You could also write it like this, 477.00. This way or this way, they're both correct. These are both rounded to the nearest cent you know really they're fine so um, that's the monthly payment and that's that's that part now you might be interested to know how much total interest is paid how would we calculate that press pause and see if you can figure out the total interest paid if you figure this out on your own 
then you'll certainly remember it because you totally understand it. So I'll try and give you a hint so you can come up with this by yourself. Um, you're paying $477 monthly for how long? This is your monthly payment. You've loaned $15,000, you have your car. You're paying $477 every month. For how many months? Well, it's three years, and we just figured out the number of months of the loan. That's 36 months, right? So, can you figure out the total amount of money you're going to pay? If you're paying 477 every month, what's the total amount of money you're going to pay? How about take this amount and multiply it by 36, the number of months, right? So if we do that, 477 times 36, if we do that, we get 17172. $17,172. That's the total amount of money paid, right? total money paid. What's the total interest paid now? If you know the total amount paid, what's the total interest paid? Well, the loan amount is 15,000 and you're going to pay back 17,172. So how much interest did you pay? How would you calculate it? Would you subtract the 15,000, right? So if we subtract 15,000, subtract 15,000, of course we should come up with 2,172. So how much total interest is paid? $2,172, right? And the monthly payment, of course, is $4. $177. Okay, let's have a look at a college loan and you can try this yourself if you want. I, I definitely want to go over the interest rate with you though at least. So college loan, you need to borrow $9,000 to attend college and um, the APR is 5% to be paid off in monthly installments over 7 years. Calculate your monthly payment. Okay. So um, when we calculate the monthly payment, we need the monthly interest rate R and we need the term of the loan T Okay, to put it into the formula. So I'm going to just go over the monthly interest rate with you here because there will be a rounding issue. What is the monthly interest rate? So it's going to be 5% or 0 0.05, right? Divided by 12, which is 0.00416666666 forever, right? So, if we round this too much, if we round this interest rate too much, our calculation is going to be way off, okay? Because the R is included for for one thing, it's in, it's in, it's it's included in this one plus R number that's put to an exponent. So and seven times twelve is a lot. Seven. There's a lot of months in seven years, and so this is going to be um, multiplied by itself many, many, many times, which is really going to magnify our error. So we don't want to round uh, R very much at all. Okay. It'd be great if we could put it in the, the how it is exactly 0 0.05 over 12, and we'll go over that too. But if you're going to use a decimal, unfortunately, you're going to have to use as big as you can just to make sure you don't make a mistake, okay? So in this case, pretty much type in, you know, whatever's on your calculator screen. And of course, the last digit 
will round up to seven because it goes six 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 forever, right? And so if you round it, you've got your last digit has to be seven. So about I've got about eight decimal places here. That should be enough, right? So that's R. What's one plus R and then what's T? Press pause and get those two guys. Okay, have you got one plus R? One plus R should be one point zero zero four one six six seven or six 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 seven. And T is what? Is T equal to seven? Seven for seven years? Or are we talking about months here? How many months are we going to be paying back the loan? Seven times twelve, which is seven twelves? Eighty four. Okay, so T equals 84. So now we just go ahead and plug in the numbers into the formula and calculate it. So press pause and finish it from here if you want. Two. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do, uh, write out the formula now. So the monthly payment. Is the amount borrowed 9,000 times interest rate 0 0.00416667 times 1 plus r to the power of t 1.00416667 to the power of 84 all over 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1 1 1.00416667 to the power of 84 then subtract 1 so calculate the top, calculate the bottom, and see what you come up with. If you if you're doing it this way, so if you're doing it uh, with the turning the R into a decimal, calculate the top, calculate the bottom, and then um, see what you come up with. If you want to use a one-line calculator entry, I will show you. I'll do that with you now. So if you're using a one line calculator entry, your R would be, you know, 0 0.05 divided by 12, okay? Your 1 plus R would be uh, 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, okay? And you might have parentheses around it, right? So what you're going to type in is 9000 times R or times... Uh, you know, 0 0.05 divided by 12, and then times 1 plus r to the power of t. So that would be 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12. And you have to be very careful. If you do it this way, you must separate your 1 and this thing with a plus, because this is not the same thing, by the way, as 1.05 divided by 12 is not the same thing as 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, is it? Of course not. Let's calculate that, just in case you made that mistake. 1.05 divided by 12 is 0 0.0875. 1 plus this thing is 1 plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, which is, of course, our friend 1.0041 six 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 seven so they're completely different okay sorry should have showed you that so 1.05 over 12 is actually this number but this gives this so they're completely different so don't you have to separate your this with a plus right okay so you can't write it as 1.05 okay so in any case that's the top uh, we need to do that to the power of t so the power of 84 and then the bottom of course is 1 plus r to the power of t 1 plus um, 0 0.05 over 12 to the power of 84 then subtract 1 okay so you can do that um, the top and bottom with a one line if you like or the whole thing with a one line if you do the whole thing with a one line entry you gotta put parentheses around the bottom okay but um, and so you'll be dividing then you'll have two parentheses and you'll type all this in so in any case um, what does the top look like if you did it on this calculator? It would be 9,000 times uh, 0 0.05 over 12 times 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12 to the power of 84.
Now your calculator knows PEMDAS, so your calculator will be just fine with first putting, getting the exponent on this guy. Well, first doing parentheses. He's gonna, he's, sorry. First thing calculator is going to do is parentheses. It's going to divide here and add one. Then you do the exponent, right, on that. Then, of course, it's going to do parentheses here. It's going to divide, turn this into a number, and then it's going to multiply this times this and this times this, right? So this is the, the top line, and whichever way you, you did it, hopefully you got something close, really close to 53.176351951. And the bottom is... Um, let's see, I do need a parenthesis, so I need to go, or I need to go, let's see, parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.05 over 12 to the power of 84, and hit the right arrow key, see that, and then go subtract 1, otherwise this might become part of the exponent, then press enter, and we have 0 0.4 one eight zero three six zero five two might as well put them all in and then sub and then divide so now if I have that in there already what I like to do is fifty three point one seven six three five one nine five divide by the previous answer okay and that'll give me one two seven point two zero five etc or to the nearest cent what's that so whichever way you did it hopefully you, you, you get the correct answer to the nearest cent so it should be 127 and then because of this 5 we've got to round up okay one twenty seven dollars twenty one cent okay so now can you calculate the total interest you pay over the term of the loan press pause do that and then I'll do it really quickly so press pause do this and then I'll do it really quickly okay okay I hope you press pause and tried it to get the total interest we first must figure out how much we paid altogether over the term of the loan the term of the loan was seven years but we're paying every month and we calculated that to be seven times twelve equals eighty four months was the term of the loan okay eighty four payments is what we make eighty four months and our monthly payment is this amount so if I multiply that by eighty four I get the total amount that I'm going to be paying over the term of the loan. So, 127.21 times 84 equals this 10685.64. So, this is the total amount paid, okay? That's the total money uh, paid altogether. Paid. And if I take that, and I'm uh, sorry, it's not, uh, let me just do it then here. And, and how am I going to get the total interest now? If that's the total amount paid, what's the total interest? Do you remember? Well, you borrowed 9,000, you paid this amount back, how much interest did you pay altogether? Subtract 9,000, you know, point zero zero if you like, and then you get the total interest, right? So you take this number and subtract 9,000, enter, and we get 1685.64. So this is the total interest paid. Okay.